Hello, beautiful world. So, I mean, you know, we're inside all day, but good things can happen even when you're inside. I got to play with my doggies today. We had like a little exercise session, uh, just playing with the doggies, you know, just basically running around my tiny room and uh, running back and forth from the door to my bed and back and forth with my dogs and playing with them uh, and then doing like circles on my bed jumping around and playing with each other as well and I made a really cool video that's why I'm wearing makeup I made a really cool video that uh, you're gonna get to see and you know, I am so happy that I finally made this video because I wanted to make this video for probably like a month or two and I finally did it. I had like the whole thing, like I had the shirt I wanted to wear, I had, you know, the idea of what I, I wrote down what I wanted to say and I got it all down. So I'm really happy. Um, it's basically an ad for YouTube to grow the channel, um, to grow all of my channels, uh, because I want to be happy and achieve my dreams, and I would love to have, um, bigger following, not just because it is good money, but because I would love people to watch this content, I would love people to be watching my comedy channel to, you know, just have a laugh even, or even just a little smile if, if they want, you know, it, just so to brighten their day. And then my health channel, the stuff about epilepsy, you know, and mental health. I would love them to feel like they're not alone, you know, because I know a lot of people, especially now, they don't have interaction with other people. Then, you know, it's it's hard sometimes. So I just want to help people feel like they're not alone. And uh, with the food stuff on my health channel, I definitely want to show people that vegans are not always uh, health junkies. We're, we eat junk food, that's for sure. <laughs> Especially for me. But um, yeah. I mean, we're not always eating like avocado toast and uh, fruits for re or a smoothie bowl for breakfast, <laughs> you know? Uh, I mean, I have smoothies for breakfast, but then I eat junk food at dinner, so I mean, you know. So I made that video, I had a good time talking with somebody really cool, really awesome, really special to me, and, um, uh, I'm just, I'm just really happy, and, uh, talking to this person has actually motivated me to learn more language, and even, like, I, I thought, you know, maybe I'll just visit uh, Uruguay because I visited Cuba, I visited uh, Poland, and um, and like I've visited, I haven't visited the part of Cuba where my aunt lives, but you know that that would be cool too. But I have mostly, actually not mostly, I have visited my ancestry, my, the countries of my ancestry on my mom's side, but I haven't visit, visited Uruguay. I haven't visited Uruguay and I want to do that because uh, I know that from what my father told me that it's a really beautiful country and I really want to experience that. I also want to go to Spain. I have family in Spain. Uh, and I have ancestry from Spain, uh, according to my mom on my grandfather's side, from, yeah, uh, from her mom, from his mom, but, uh, but yeah, I, I would love to experience that, and, 
you know, I have even more ideas of where I might want to travel. I definitely want to explore uh, the whole of the UK and, you know, um, in Ireland because I know there's a lot of castles and I love castles. Um, I mean, some of them are ruins, but still, it's it, it's history. It's there is so much history. There's stories that just live in those walls, and it's just so beautiful to think about. And I would love to experience that. For me, I think more. Uh, you know, have the necessities, that's for sure. You know, make sure you can eat, make sure you can drink fresh water. Um, but I feel more like I would love to travel and experience things with people that I love rather than, you know, have a big mansion or a bunch of cars and a and a driver and uh, bodyguards, security, whatever it's called, and having like uh, designer clothes or stuff like that because I'm honestly clothes are just clothes. They're they're just fabric to me, and I know some of it can be really beautiful. Um, like even even the cheap stuff can be beautiful you know I if you have the artistry to make it beautiful then it can be beautiful so I mean I'm not one to have something expensive over something that is uh, cheap but also good quality uh, as well so I prefer wearing things until they're worn out, <laughs> uh, which is a funny choice of words. Um, but yeah, I I won't throw things out unless they have like holes in them that I can't fix, like the, the sh shorts that I made from, from my tights, you know, the holes were, you know, at least low enough that I could make shorts out of them because if they were too high, then you know, that that would be a goner, and the, those were my favorite tights, so, I don't know. I'm just enjoying life, lying down with my doggies, and just uh, enjoying and uh, looking at my life and enjoying it. You know, th that's the only way to put it, I think, because... I feel that good things are coming. Forget who it was that said it. I'm pretty sure it was Rebel Wilson. She said that if you manifest things, because she said that she would always be rich when she was a kid. So if you manifest things, she says that she would act like she was rich. She would she would be she would be like she was a rich person. So if you manifest things long enough, then they come into existence. So I, I mean, I'm not gonna really, you know, be like, oh, I have fancy cars and stuff. No. But I will have a rich life, that's for sure. I will enjoy things more and I know that I am luckier than most people in the world. Um, I mean, in some countries, even, even though I look like super pale, super white, I just, by looking at my name, they'd be like, oh, maybe she's illegal, you know? So, um, it, it's amazing that I got to be born in Canada and and be born into at least have the opportunity to grow myself and be better 
and to work hard so that I can have better um, but still I I think that with all that I have been through in life it has taught me to really enjoy the experiences that I have with the people that I love rather than things so that that is my nugget for the day you know it look more at the experiences you have the moments that you have with the people that you love you know every hug and kiss and every I love you to your mother um, because you know she's your mother she it's a beautiful thing life life in general is a beautiful thing and just the magnificence of life and I know I sound like a stoner right now <laughs> uh, to some people probably I don't know but you know I'm just really looking at how I live my life and I want to make sure that I really enjoy every last piece of my life because why not you know why not Life is beautiful. We should be able to enjoy the beauty of life. So next time you go for a walk, don't stare at your phone. First of all, staring at your phone while you're walking is not good because you could trip over something or if you're crossing the street, you could be hit by a car or a bike or something like that. So don't stare at your phone while you're walking. Look at your surroundings. Look at every detail. Look at the park. You know, look at the trees, look at the little animals in the trees, look at what they're holding, if they're holding nuts, you know, look at flowers blooming in the trees, look at, you know, different people walking uh, on the sidewalk, you know, think about how their day must have been, you know, what they must have gone through what their life is like think about buildings think about how much hard work and how long it took to build those buildings how many people it might have taken to build those buildings and how long the building has been there you know it's amazing to really think and break down things to really see the beauty of how everything just comes together and how sometimes it can just seem like things are just falling into place like how they should be how they were intended and you're finally getting to that place I mean I understand I've felt for so long that I have been anxious and like, oh, when am I going to get this? When am I going to get that? When, I, when, when is this going to happen? When is, it was mostly things that I wanted to happen. When is this going to happen? But now it feels like things are actually falling into place. And I'm really, really all like over the top happy about it. And as you can see by my baby hairs all curled up my my hair only seems to curl when I'm like really happy so you, you can tell my all my baby curls are curled up and it looks like I have a mullet <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah I am really happy and I I know today is a good day I may have a bad day in the future where I feel really really sad but you know what I'm gonna work on for myself is to make sure that I enjoy every moment to think about why am I feeling sad do I really need to be worrying about this right now what do I have to be thankful for my mom tells me all the time to before I go to bed you know just think about five things you're thankful for 
And when you wake up, think about five things you're thankful for. They have to be separate things, different, like different things. So each time it has to be a different thing. And I think that is really good. Like I thought it was annoying before, but now I see the point of it. It's a beautiful thing because it reminds you what you have and it the fact that you can really be thankful for the life that you're living. I mean, this building is old, there's a lot of things to do, but the rent is cheap. You know, it gives me an opportunity to save money uh, when I start making uh, money on, on different platforms. Um, but for now, you know, it's when I got the apartment, it was cheap, so I, you know, it, it's good, like, and the people are really nice. Well, some people in the area itself are a little bit off the rocker, but, you know, I still experience more the people that are nice and would like to be friends, you know, who ask me how my day was and, you know, just are nice, generally nice people. So there's uh, more of a sense of community here than, uh, say, somebody who lives in a mansion because they have so much space in their mansion that it's a workout just to go from one end of the mansion to the other and so they don't even bother getting out of their house to go to next door to say hi I'm your neighbor you want to be friends uh, or maybe they just drive there I don't know <laughs> but I think it's really important to enjoy what you have when you have your health you really really bask in the glory of having your health because clearly in these times there are people who are suffering and everybody knows that so when you are healthy enjoy that you are healthy and just strive to be healthier and enjoy every moment of your life because it's beautiful with all the good and the bad, life is beautiful because if you look at it from another perspective, there are so many things in somebody's life. Even the littlest event can change a person's character, how they grow up and how they see the world. So every person when they grow up they are essentially a piece of art that just keeps growing and growing that just adds more art to it it's a person's life is like a collage <laughs> oh my gosh it, I, I'm pretty sure that expression has been used before but yeah I I guess that's the best way to put it I'm happy today, so I'm gonna enjoy it. I am not just happy, I am ecstatic. <laughs> now it's time for me to cuddle with my dogs and give them belly rubs because Debbie was a good boy and Zena was a very good girl. They were both very good doggies and they definitely deserve very good belly rubs because they were so patient with me making videos all day and editing all day and you know not really paying that much attention to them today so they will get lots of attention now <laughs> now if you like that please come back for more like subscribe and be sure to tell your friends I swear it's not a chore be sure to check out my other channels my health channel my comedy channel and my gaming channel my health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy, my comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.